Hey y'all, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. We are outside actually planting today. I wanna to show you what we've got, what we're growing. This is the first time that I'm gonna use our DIY raised log lined bed, okay? And I'm super excited. So what I've gotta do is rake this soil out here, okay? And excuse my roosters, it's morning time and they are growing, okay? So today is overcast. That's really what you want if you're wanting to plant just a nice, little smooth, transitional day. I have my Triple 13 fertilizer here. And I just put a bunch in a pan. That way I can just scatter it as I think. I've got this much. I don't know if I'm going to use it all or not. This is all potting mix mixed in with a little dirt and compost. I showed you that in our other video on the DIY raised log line bed okay so this was a pine tree that fell in our yard and we just used the pieces to make a raised bed right here so let me throw out some of this fertilizer okay and i may need a, i may need more i may need less i start tossing it. you don't want too much you just want it kind of scattered around your plants will grow I promise you, okay? Now I've got a rake. I'm gonna try to rake all this in, rake it level. You do not want your plants directly touching this fertilizer, okay? All right, so now I'm actually gonna go back and get some more fertilizer to use in each little hole that we put our transplants. And I'm gonna show you what we have to put out today, guys. Okay, y'all, so my first little row here is pretty narrow, the way we have the bed, and I'm gonna fit something small right here, okay? Let me show you. We have all of these transplants. These were from Baker Creek Seeds. This is our Chinese narrow leaf lettuce, and this was started March the 2nd. These have actually done great as far as lettuces, out of everything that they sent us this year, this this is the one, okay? This has done better than anything as far as a quick germination. It's been hardy. Guys, all of our transplants, this is from March the 2nd, okay? You can see why I'm trying to plant this outside today. This is like desperately wants to get outside, okay? Narrow leaf lettuce, March the 2nd, which you see down in there. I told you I would show you from seed to harvest, and that's what we're doing, okay? So, for our first little plant here, these need to be spaced about eight inches apart. So, got my little tool here, and let me try to do it right here so you can see. I want one right there. So, maybe right here will be good, okay? Again, this is all potting mix okay now you can see where I'm hitting grass that's what I was saying I should have laid down cardboard okay I just laid the potting mix on top of the earth but the good thing is is this bed can go and go and go because it pulls from the earth underneath it if you put a raised bed on top of ground these plants are gonna pull those nutrients, okay, from up underneath it. If you just do a raised bed that has some kind of more solid bottom, it's not going to be, in my opinion, as good, okay? If you can let your plants pull from the earth underneath, it usually does help, okay? So, I'm just making me a little hole. This ground was rocky. It, um, it just did not have that good of a quality of earth to it but you see once all this potting mix gets in here it's just helping it okay that's what you want that's what you want okay now that i've got me a pretty good little size hole here move my camera so you can see okay there's that set my camera back down and look guys i am not a professional at videoing but i can tell you this i'll show you real life stuff okay I'm going to take my triple 13 right here, and I'm going to put just a little bit, just like that, okay, down in there. Now, I'm going to turn it over. You do not want your plant, its roots, touching this, okay? 
So turn, turn everything up, okay? As long as it's mixed in well with that soil. Now, we're gonna plant him, okay? So, I don't know the great debate on what's better, <laughs> watering these before you pull them out of the cup or leaving them dry. I've been mad if they're um, solid with water and I've been mad if they're dry, so I don't know the best technique to tell you, okay? Now, if you've got a little dirt left in there, throw it in your hole. It's not anything but pure potting mix, okay? That's good stuff. That's what you want. Right here, you can see some little roots, okay? Turn him up. Put him down in there, okay? I may have made my hole too deep. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm not going to... If you have any grass, just throw him on out, okay? Leaves, let it be. Put it back down in there. Just make compost. I'm going to gently fill this in. Lettuce is finicky. Because it's, it's not strong like a tomato plant or a zucchini or a pepper. It's, it's more fragile. Any little grass, just throw them out, okay? Now, stabilize him, okay? Pat it down. Now, I like to build up around it, okay? Potting mix will go flat when it rains, just like any other earth, but potting mix is so loose that it definitely will do that. And there you go, guys. Look at that, on that old pine log as a border. I just think it's awesome. Okay, y'all, I just had to stop for a minute and regroup because of the rain. But anyways, these are the walking stick kale transplants from Baker Creek that were planted on March the 2nd. So I only had two of these that made it to this size. We're gonna plant these here. The walking stick kale apparently gets very tall. So I planted these on the, I'm going to plant these on the top border. That way they don't interfere with anything. I don't want these out in the middle of my raised bed. I'd rather have these on the edge or a border. I've already made my two spaces, okay? One here and one there. And I'm just gonna put these down in here, okay? The rain got us, it sprinkled, and then now it's sun shining. It's gonna be that type of spring day here in Alabama. So honestly, it's really the most perfect day for planting. It's a little cooler, it's overcast. This is what you want. Okay. So, and if you are planting on an area that is sloped, like I've said before, just kind of mound your soil up at that level, okay? And just make you a little mound and then pat, just pat it down, okay? And then just mound up around it. Kale is more of a cool season crop. Some are known for heat resistance, but when lettuce will putter, this stuff that I have seen in central Alabama will still be going okay now i'm on my second row i'm using my walking stick kale as a row marker and i've have one two three four five five of the thousand head kale transplants these were started three two as well that's your thousand head kale from baker creek okay those seem to do good as far as the kale that and our blue dazzling kale did the best okay so these i'm gonna space just a little bit further apart now this kale is going to get large okay hopefully it will be so i might even the more i think about it i may want to move this over a little bit from what we had you just have to constantly step back and analyze like, hey, I've got this, no, hey, I've got that, that spacing. 
the further apart you can space everything, the better actually your garden will do, okay? If you cram it all up together, which I'm notorious for doing, it will not do as well. So, I think that that will be better right here. I really do. Okay. mix it down in there okay thousand head kale it's supposed to get very large it says eight inches apart but i may make that a little bit more okay and yes you can go out and buy just plain kale okay transplants you can do that if you've not started your seedlings inside, but just know that this year you're gonna pay, no matter where you go, $5 a plant, okay, for one little plant. Last but not least, guys, we have two little kale transplants left. Now I have a few more inside, but they're not ready yet. This is the Tronchuda, okay, Baker Creek kale. He looks great. And then we've got Dazzling Blue. They already have a blue tint to the leaves. So I'm gonna plant these down by my thousand head kale and then I'm gonna show you the last few plants we're gonna plant. All right, y'all. So over here by my border, okay? We're on the other side now. This is gonna get the most sunlight. I am going to plant two of my Brandywine heirloom tomatoes from Baker Creek. And I'm gonna tell you, these almost look like a pepper plant. It's something about the leaves, but I'm gonna plant these over here. So hopefully I can save the seeds, okay? They look great, they look excellent. Brimmer and Brandywine have been the best for us that we've tried. So I've got two farm fresh eggs, okay? We're gonna put these down in this hole. I'm gonna show you this, okay? That way I can keep this weeded. I can keep this nice and controlled. And at the bottom, we're gonna plant some zucchini, dark star zucchini. So I've got just a whole little garden here in this little bit of space. And I did not have to plant this kale. I wanted to, but I did not have to, okay? So I'm gonna get my tools and my fertilizer, okay? And actually I could go back through here and plant just a few flowers, but I've got gladiolas all right through here okay you can see one right there that are going to do great so let me start right here okay we're going to dig us a hole just make you a hole okay you want this pretty deep okay and if you can't if your ground space doesn't allow it, then mound up, okay? I'm definitely gonna mound with these. These need roots, a root space, they need expansion. Okay, turn my camera here. There we go. Here's my farm fresh egg, will y'all? I'm propping it up against a pine log. Okay, farm fresh egg. Down in there. Break it, break it up. You don't want it rotten, okay? Mash it up. That is for calcium. You can use toms. You can use all this other stuff, but you're gonna, I use farm fresh eggs. That's what I got, okay? So, well, we'll do him. We'll take our plant, okay? I have had a few issues with some of these leaves curling. But I put some little transplant fertilizer on them last week. And most of these have corrected. They're just, they're desperately wanting to get out, okay? I have a strict rule never to plant in this area until Good Friday. That's why I've only got two tomato plants here. I got the tallest and the healthiest. But I'm breaking my own rule. Good Friday is Friday. Today is Monday, okay? We are close. Now, I'm gonna make a furrow all the way around him, okay?
a big furrow to mound him up. I'm gonna take my fertilizer, pretty heavy this time, and I'm gonna go all the way around this ring. Mix it in. I didn't put any fertilizer in the bottom of that one, I forgot. That's why I'm doing that, okay? Trying to correct my mistake. Now I'm gonna cover that up a little bit. Just a little bit. Mound him up some more. Okay. Make my trench again. Now, immediately, I'm going to go ahead and put the cage on him. Okay. We don't want to try to fight with this in two weeks. Okay. All right, y'all. These were started March the 15th. Look at that. If you can't grow much of anything, start you a zucchini. Now, you can do this from seed outside, but... I like to go ahead and get a one-up on it and go ahead and plant this. Look at, I mean, they are huge, okay? 315, it's been less than a month, dark star zucchini. We're going to plant these, and I'm going to show you a picture of everything we got. All right, y'all, this is the finished bed. I'm standing up on the deck. I'm going to show it to you. I've got the two brandywine tomatoes, three dark star zucchini. Now, I got off on my row here a little bit. But that's okay, because this zucchini will need space to branch out. Walking stick kale, walking stick kale. Chinese narrow leaf lettuce with two blue feather lettuces. Thousand head kale, there's five of those. Trocunda and the daz blue dazzling kale, okay? That's what we've got for a pretty much free raised bed. I think it's an awesome idea. Now on over in here, I have my hydrangeas and I've got gladiolas over there and other things. Two rosemaries back there. Nice little solar lights all the way around it. I just think it's a great idea. And hey, it's making it work for me. If it doesn't work, then it just doesn't work. But hopefully we'll have a harvest off of this. Get creative guys. We'll see you next time on Harmon Homestead.